The date is August 26, 1980. First year Cardinals manager Whitey Herzog had been on the job just a little over two months, but it was clear to him that he needed to remake the roster in order to formulate a winner. He wanted control over player transactions and in-game strategy, but needed a new title to do it. Whitey went to Grant's farm to pitch his idea to owner Gussie Bush. Herzog asked to be made manager and GM while staying at the same salary. Gussie signed off, and Whitey became the first man to serve in both roles since Connie Mack in the 1950s. He wasted no time building a roster built on speed, pitching, and defense. At the 1980 winter meetings, Whitey took part in trades involving 16 different players. The most notable additions that winter were closer Bruce Souter and catcher Daryl Porter. The next offseason, he was back at it, adding two to the outfield. One was 1980 Rookie of the Year contender Lonnie Smith. He also sent pitcher Bob Sykes to the New York Yankees for a mostly unknown double-A outfielder named Willie McGee. Well hit, way back, listen for the reaction. Oh he boy! Did it. What a catch he made, Willie McGee! Willie McGee! But the biggest trade came in December of 81, as Whitey snagged two-time reigning NL Gold Glove winner Ozzie Smith from the Padres. He finally had his winning roster, so three games into the 82 season, Whitey relinquished GM duties to Joe McDonald, a decision which paid off quite nicely. A swing and a miss, and that's a winner! That's a winner! A World Series winner for the Cardinals! August 26, 1980, the day Whitey became GM and manager, and a day that changed Cardinals history. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Brett McMillan.